Hello, my name is Ethan, and today I'm going to be modifying my keyboard, which is the GK61. It has an all black plastic board, a hot swappable PCB. As for switches, it uses the gate run up to a rails. So it's basically a normal keyboard. But anyways, this is how it's gonna work out. Upon disassembling the board, I'm gonna start the modding process. Since I'm still new to this, I'm gonna keep it simple and do three things. First, I'll loop both the switch and the fine tune the stabilizers. Secondly, I'll spray paint the board according to the color of the keycaps. Finally, I'll add additional mods like the bandaid and foam mod. So let's begin with the first step. Since this is using a hot swappable PCB, I didn't need to worry about desoldering the switches. Alright, let's get started with lubing. For the loop, I'm using the Crytox 205 grade zero. It took me on average around 3 minutes to loop a single switch. And there were 61 of them. But overall, I would say looping the switches was the most calming and enjoyable process out of anything in this project. After the switches were the stabilizers. The stabs were already looped by the manufacturer, but I still wanted to reapply a fresh coat. So I separated the parts of the stabilizers and wiped off the old loop. The next thing I did was clipping the stabilizers. I've noticed that it wasn't that flat, so I just clipped it off just to be safe. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I mostly follow Taiha Type's videos for the majority of this project. When reassembling the stabilizers, I struggled to clip the wire to the housing. Turns out I need to clip it to this part. Okay, the next part is spray painting the board. I began with the sanding process. Then I applied some primer. I wanted the board to have two different colors, so I messed out the bottom half of the board and started off with the first color, which is white. The results were okay, I made a few mistakes, which will be visible later on, but let's see if I can do better the next time. The second color is Tosca or blue. After the paint job, I added some masking tape which acts as the bandaid mod. And upon reassembling, I did the foam mod. I replaced the old stock ABS keycaps with the PG PBT Bluebird set by KBD fans. The set also came with a few accent pieces, but I decided to just use the main ones. 
after the board was reassembled, here's how it looks like. Right, before this video actually ends, I want to talk about a few things. First of all, if you're here for the sound test, you're gonna have to take it with a grain of salt. Uh, I personally think the camera's microphone is the most realistic or accurate sounding to real life out of all of them, but there's a lot of static noise. Secondly, I did some modifications to the stabilizers. For this, the, the spacebar was kind of rattling. I don't know if there's still some rattle in it, uh, but I did the band-aid around the wire mod, so that might help fix the rattle. Finally, if you want to actually learn how to modify or customize your very own keyboard, I'm gonna leave all the videos I've watched down in the description below, so yeah. But overall, I enjoyed making this. It's the first time I ever did something or anything like this. I'm extremely proud of the results. Yeah. That's about it. Thank you for watching.